Good afternoon. On behalf of AAAE board member and director of professional development, Neil Otto, it's my pleasure to welcome you to another webinar hosted by the American Association for Employment and Education. Today's topic is video interviewing best practices for hiring teachers and staff. My name is Tim Newbert and I serve as AAAE's executive director. Please allow me to cover just a few housekeeping matters before we begin with today's topic. During the webinar, all attendees will be muted by default. However, you are encouraged to submit your questions, comments, or responses throughout the presentation via the chat or Q&A tools within Zoom. When using chat, you are encouraged to change the recipient default to all presenters and attendees to maximize participation. This webinar is being recorded and will be made available to attendees and AAAE members. If you are not currently a member of AAAE, please visit our website, aaee.org, for more information. We are a professional association intent on positively impacting education through professional connections. Related to that mission, we connect the three critical groups involved with the preparation, recruitment, and retention of pre-K through 12 educators, university professionals and others to prepare educators, school system professionals and others to recruit, hire, and retain them, and of course, educator candidates themselves. We offer annual publications such as the Job Search Handbook for Educators. We conduct an educator supply and demand survey each fall and winter, result, result, excuse me, resulting in a spring report, which is coming soon. We host a pre-K through 12 job board and education uh, job fair calendar. We host webinars such as this one on topics relevant to our membership. We sponsor teacher scholarships and school system mini grants to support teacher pipelines. We host an annual conference and education career fair each fall. And we host teacher job fairs such as our virtual event on Thursday, June 10th. Joining me today is Jeremy Tolan, Partnerships Manager for Spark Hire. During this session, Jeremy will help us learn how to gain new perspectives on candidates, improve screening efficiency and remote collaboration, and speed up the hiring process with video interviews. In addition to real world examples from school districts who have successfully incorporated video interviews into the hiring process to face today's hiring challenges, we'll cover how video interviews reduce screening time, efficiently and effectively collaborate with all stakeholders, improve your candidate's experience, spend more time interviewing top applicants, and provide confidence about how candidates will present themselves in the classroom. I'll now turn it over to you, Jeremy. Thanks, Tim. Thanks so much for the introduction. Thanks for hosting me. And that was a really good intro and way to set this up on what I'm going to be talking about today. And thanks, everyone, for joining the webinar. I really appreciate that you were able to set some time aside to join. Uh, this webinar is Video Interviewing Best Practices for Hiring Teachers and Staff. And my name is Jeremy Tolan. I'm the Partnerships Manager at Spark Hire. Like Tim mentioned, Spark Hire is a video interview platform that's used by hundreds of districts across the country. Since 2012, I've been able to help hundreds of organizations successfully implement video interviewing, which has led them to make some really amazing hires. I've helped a number of school districts in particular, and I'm super eager about the opportunity to be able to present to you today. Now, since the outbreak of COVID-19, nearly every district has started, or at least made plans to start using video interviewing so that they could continue to interview their candidates safely. So you're probably already familiar with how you can use video interviewing to meet your candidates from a distance. My goal for the webinar today is to provide you with valuable information about how you can leverage video interviewing in ways that can help your district gain more valuable insight about candidates, improve your screening efficiency and collaboration, and also speed up your hiring process. So I'm hoping you'll walk away with some ideas on how to make better hires faster than ever before. But before we get too much further into the presentation, I wanted to first point out that there's two types of video interviews that I'll be speaking about today. One type is called a one-way video interview where employers can set up questions in advance that candidates can record video response to on their own. And these are really great because hiring stakeholders can review them at their own convenience and provide feedback to make decisions on how they want to proceed with candidates. The other type of video interview that I'll be talking about today is where an interviewer is able to connect with the candidate in real time through a web camera. So you're probably already using tools like Zoom, GoToMeeting, or Skype to connect with candidates for live interviews, just because it's been challenging to meet with them in person over the past year. 
those live video interviews are a really effective way to connect with non-local candidates to help reduce travel, co travel costs or just a safer way to connect with candidates since the outbreak of COVID. The live video interviews are typically used later on in the hiring process as more of a final round interview. So some best practices that I can recommend for conducting the live video interviews are to make sure you check your internet connection, your camera, and your microphone prior to connecting with candidates. In addition to that, make sure to be mindful of any background noise, the actual background that candidates will be able to see behind you, and your lighting. And make sure to give the same advice to your candidates so that you can ensure a really great experience when you connect with them live. But bringing this back to that other type of video interview, the one-way video interview, those are typically used earlier on in the hiring process. They've traditionally been the most impactful type of interview and are most often used to replace or supplement a preliminary phone interview to help shortlist candidates for those final round interviews. Also districts that weren't previously conducting preliminary interviews, they're using these the same way as a way to shortlist candidates for final round interviews without having to invest very much time. So usually a district will review resumes and applications to help shortlist their top candidates before they send them an email invitation to complete a one-way interview. But some districts prefer to have all of their applicants complete a one-way interview when they first apply so that they could submit that along with their resume and initial application. Either method could be really effective, just depending on the size of your talent pool. And districts end up saving a ton of time by using these one-way interviews for a number of reasons, but one of them is because they're able to avoid scheduling challenges. So a lot of HR team members and administrators, they find themselves exchanging several emails or phone calls with candidates just to agree on a convenient time to connect for a preliminary interview. And that can obviously drag out the hiring process for days longer than it should be for that candidate. But none of that time is wasted because candidates are able to record these one-way interviews on their own time before a deadline. So with candidates able to interview 24 seven, these preliminary interviews are completed much faster. And it also only takes about five minutes to review the recording of those one-way interviews instead of conducting a preliminary phone interview that usually takes at least 20 minutes. So most of the districts that are using Spark Hire, they find that their hiring process is five to seven times faster than it was before. But not only can these types of interviews really speed up your hiring process, they can make a huge impact on the quality of your hiring process too. Because by seeing candidates on video, you're able to gain a lot more valuable insight about them. So hiring stakeholders are able to learn way more about a candidate's personality, their cultural fit, how they present themselves earlier on in the hiring process. And this can be a really good opportunity to learn more about an educator's teaching style before you actually commit to a final round interview with them. Equally important, the one-way video interviews improve the feedback loop with hiring stakeholders because these are recordings that can be shared with anyone that's involved in the hiring process. So that gives everyone a chance to get on the same page, which results in better decisions being made about which candidates move forward in the process. I'm sure you're aware that poor collaboration between HR team members and administrators and principals, that can result in bad hiring decisions and also just draw out the hiring process. So hiring stakeholders end up being on the same page. They have much more contacts about the candidates they're meeting later on in the process. And that ultimately results in better final round interviews and most importantly, making better hires. Another way that these one-way interviews can make an impact on the quality of your hiring process too is by helping standardize your pre-screening process. Because when a district leverages one-way interviews, all of the candidates are asked the same set of questions under the same exact circumstances for a particular role. So this can help hiring stakeholders more easily compare candidates side by side earlier on in the process, which results in making better decisions and also just eliminating biases at this stage in the process too. I thought it would be helpful to provide some best practices for using one-way interviews also, so you can deliver a really good candidate experience and achieve some of these results that I've been talking about. Now, while it might be tempting when you first start using these types of interviews to request for a candidate to complete it as soon as you connect with them, we always recommend building some rapport with your candidates first. So when you're initially speaking to candidates about the job and their qualifications, use that as an opportunity to explain to them how you use video interviews in your hiring process. To expand on that, it's, it's just so important to keep candidates in the loop on where these video interviews fit into your process so they know exactly where they stand and you can accomplish this in a number of ways, like outlining the steps of your hiring process on the careers page on your website, maybe in an initial email to candidates, you can outline the different steps of your process, or just when you initially talk to candidates over the phone too. 
It's also extremely important to give a realistic deadline for these one-way interviews, but also emphasize urgency. So give candidates a realistic deadline of maybe a few days, but emphasize that the quicker they get it back to you, the sooner you can discuss next steps with them. So it's really in the candidate's best interest to act fast. We also recommend letting candidates know how long you expect it to take for you to get back to them after they complete their video interview, because that's going to help keep your team accountable and just further motivate the candidate. Some of the best practices that I feel most strongly about are related to making the candidate experience feel really personal. Because although these types of interviews are one way in nature, there's still plenty of engaging ways to make the candidate experience feel personal for them. For example, you can leverage what we call intro and outro videos on Spark Hire that let a member of your team record themselves on video, making a quick introduction to the candidate and providing them with more information about uh, your district and the, the role that they're applying for that should help get them excited and get them really eager about starting at your district. Outro videos can be a really effective way to outline next steps in the hiring process and thank candidates for completing their video interview because that's a video that the candidate would see once they finish that video interview with you guys. And also make sure that you're sharing the completed interviews with any key, stakes, key stakeholders in your hiring process so that you're able to gather different opinions about candidates and effectively collaborate to make really great hiring decisions. So now I wanted to go over a few real world examples. The first one is for Amarillo Independent School, School District and they're based in the city of Amarillo, Texas and they've been successfully leveraging Spark Hire for roughly five years. The district's always looking for new and innovative ways to simplify and clarify their hiring process for many of their positions. So when they were looking into video interviews, Amarillo ISD hoped to save time and money in the hiring process while being more effective in their candidate screening. They used one-way interviews to replace their initial phone screens to help determine which candidates they should meet with for final round interviews. Most of their positions are posted with the video interview as the initial step, and it's drastically diminished the time spent from interview to hire. They no longer have to spend countless hours speaking to each applicant on the phone in order to decide if they want to move forward with them. With the help of Spark Hire, they've offered thousands of applicants the ability to interview online, and most of their interviews are actually reviewed by multiple viewers, sometimes by as many as 11 different people. Before they use Spark Hire, the scheduling, seat time, and hours away from campus would have cost them upwards of 2,400 hours, with the cost close to $103,000 per year. But since using Spark Hire, the district estimates that it only spends eight minutes per pre screening interview, which resulted in saving roughly 270 hours or $91,000 per year. To quote their director, not only is their team able to spend more time with students, but Spark Hire even works with their busy schedules. They can now view the candidate interviews from any location at any time that's convenient for them. The added bonuses are that it's really easy for both their candidates and district users, but also how affordable it is. Being a school district, we have to work with a tight budget. Let's check out another real world example from Canyon Independent School District. And that's a district that serves the Canyon and Amarillo area and Randall County of the Texas Panhandle. Canyon ISD is a rapidly growing district and they knew that they would be staffing these schools with regularity. So they wanted to improve their hiring process to spend their time on the most qualified candidates. Their director of HR, as well as their HR coordinator conduct all the preliminary interviews and they found themselves getting backlogged. So they needed something that would process their applicants a lot faster. They've achieved amazing results from using Spark Hire over the past few years, and they're now able to complete their preliminary interviews in just two or three days. So to quote their director of human resources, the benefits have definitely been getting through more applicants, which has allowed us to have a better pool of applicants that are process completed and available to be interviewed by our principals. It's becoming more and more competitive to find the best teachers out there. And obviously every district tries to get the best people to work with kids. Spark Hire is a great avenue to find the best teachers. So I wanted to review one more real world example from Extension Parish School Board, which is a school district headquartered in Donaldsonville, Louisiana. The district serves Extension Parish Public Schools, and they started using Spark Hire prior to the outbreak of COVID, but they've experienced a lot of success using Spark Hire to host virtual career fairs throughout the pandemic and they plan on continuing to do this going forward too. They realized that they would need to accomplish three key objectives to successfully conduct a virtual career fair. Number one, allow candidates to provide them with their application. 
Two, introduce the team that candidates would be joining. And three, learn how candidates generally present themselves. So they've been able to gather their applications and other important documents through their applicant tracking system. They've been able to introduce members of their team through the branding solutions on Spark Hire. And a combination of both the one-way and live video interviews have helped them to learn a lot about how candidates present themselves. And an added benefit of facilitating their career fairs this way is that they're empowered to sort through candidates faster than ever before and hand off their very best candidates to the rest of the review committee. Also, their hiring process following the career fair is much faster and the entire experience is a lot more convenient for both their candidates and the administrators that are participating in the career fairs. To quote their supervisor of human resources, COVID-19 is presenting the opportunity to examine current strategies and redefine the new normal. Spark Hire is instrumental in our interviewing processes. The principals enjoy the ability to view the interviews at their own convenience. Another valuable feature is the ability to share virtual interviews with other members of the school leadership teams. The one-way interviews are used as a first interview or pre-screening process, which can progress into a two-way interview process. We've gathered over 50 case studies on our website similar to these that I really encourage you to review following the session so you could see some more real world examples too. For the next part of the presentation though, I wanted to point out that it's so important uh, to put together a game plan to be successful with any new initiative. So I put together this checklist to help continuously improve your video interview process. So number one is to come up with a goal. You'll wanna ask yourself, what problem are you trying to solve? What do you hope to get out of using a video interview platform? Number two is to define a strategy. So really understand answers to questions like, where does this fit within your process? Who is gonna be accountable for what? How are you gonna personalize the experience for your candidates? And what are, you gonna, what are you trying to get out of it for a specific position? And then strategize accordingly. Number three, go all in, but on a limited scale. So plan out which positions you're trying to use this out on and how are you gonna get everyone on your team to commit to the new process? Number four, inform your candidates. So this kind of goes back to some of those best practices that I was talking about before. Really think about what are you gonna to do to let your candidates know why you're using video interviews, how it benefits them, and where this sits within your hiring process. Number five, identify areas for improvement. So take note of what you've learned to generate ideas on how to improve your strategy, which leads us to number six, refine your strategy, make it repeatable and grow. Some questions you wanna answer here are, what are you gonna change and why? How are you gonna standardize your refined strategy? And what positions or other team members are you gonna grow your usage with? I wanted to thank everyone again for joining this webinar today. I'm really eager to continue this conversation with you. We'll be able to do some live Q&A in a moment, but I encourage you to reach out to me by email. You can see my email on the slide here. It's jeremy.tolan at sparkhire.com. Um, love to pick up this conversation with you or even connect you with a product expert to discuss your current hiring process. We could talk about how and when to incorporate video interviews for better results. I think you'll find this conversation really meaningful, whether you're actively hiring right now or simply planning for the future. I think you'll get a lot out of it. But yeah, please don't hesitate to reach out to me. Email me at jeremy.tolan at sparkhire.com. Definitely connect with me on LinkedIn, but the best way to get in touch is to send me an email here. So yeah, I think at this point, it'd be good to look at some, some Q&A. We can look at the chat. We could see if there are any questions submitted, but I'd love to address any questions that you guys have at this point. And also don't hesitate to email me after the call, after the webinar with any questions too. Great, thanks, Jeremy. Um, not seeing any questions uh, or comments in the chat or the Q&A at the moment, but uh, folks feel free to post those uh, either place and Jeremy, or if it's appropriate for me to field them, I'd be happy, we'd be happy to do that. Yeah. Thanks, we appreciate you being here today and Jeremy, appreciate your presentation. Yeah, thanks for hosting me and I'm, I'm so glad that you guys are able to join us today and love to address any questions or, or feel free to reach out to me by email too. We'll give you a second to submit any questions or if you feel more comfortable to send me an email, we could chat too. I'll go ahead and post that uh, 
your email address in the chat. Great idea. Thanks. Okay, well, it doesn't look like we're going to get any uh, questions or comments at this time, but uh, again, appreciate everyone's time today, uh, especially yours, Jeremy. And uh, uh, again, feel free, folks, to uh, to follow up with with Jeremy um, or you know check out Spark Hire on their website. Uh, and uh, if AAAE can be a further assistance, we're always here to help. Thank you, Tim. Thanks everyone for joining. Thank you.